All right, so you have a Nissan Pathfinder and you have a ton of miles on it and you end up with a knock sensor code. The knock sensor is kind of a pain to replace on this vehicle, so I'm gonna show you a hack how to get around it. So here's the codes that we have, the knock sensor codes. So that's what we're gonna to try to get rid of, see if we can fix this. So I've got my boroscope and I can see the knock sensor right there. And I've got the wire, well, the boroscope going down behind the intake and underneath. So I'm now just trying to follow the wires, just see where the wires go. So I traced the wire back and it happens to be this wire right here. So if you look for, and you see this fuel injector, you see that fuel injector right next to that fuel injector. It's on the back side, on the passenger side, right above the head. So this wire that goes down. So I'm gonna try to open up some of this insulation and just make sure the wire colors are the right wires. I got most of that insulation off the wire and that's exactly what I was looking for, a white wire, which is good. And it looks like it's a white wire with the ground wire surrounding it. So there's like underneath the original insulation was the black wire. And when I took off some of that insulation, there's the ground is encased around the white wire which i hate when they do that stuff it just makes it harder but um i can make my own ground if i have to but either way that's the wire i'm going to tap into the white wire right there here's the part that i ordered here's the knock sensor and i ordered a wiring harness now something that's weird about this wiring harness if you look at it the harness that connects to the knock sensor only has one terminal, only one wire coming out. So does that mean the knock sensor grounds itself? So that's kind of interesting. Not really sure about that, but if you look at the other end where it connects, where it's supposed to connect into the vehicle, which this isn't the exact knock sensor for this vehicle, but I'm going to try it. If you if you look at that end, that has two wires. So either way, I'm gonna cut this wiring harness up because we're gonna cut the wire here and splice it into the vehicle harness and then plug this in and relocate this. Well, let's try it out. Yeah, that's weird, it just goes to nowhere. Huh. To get the wires together, I'm actually gonna use a heat shrink butt connector um, these work really good and it should keep out of keep out the corrosion over time sometimes these do um, go bad and you have to replace them but for the most part they work really good the disadvantage of soldering it is if you put too much solder on here if the the contacts not going to be that good so if you were going to do that using a metal crimp of some sort might be more um, more helpful but for this, I'm just gonna use this. Tight. Here's the wire. I'm going to try to cut it as low as possible to give myself a little slack so it's easier. So here's our wire. Separate that insulation wire from the white wire. 
gonna trim that off because I don't need that. At least it's warm out today. <clears throat> All right, now let's splice this in. Right there. You're in, crimp it. and tight. That's good. <clears throat> I left my torch at work. So. Left my torch at work. Make sure you don't have any fuel leaks while you're doing this. Oops. Alright, before I tape this all up, I am... We'll test it and make sure everything works good. But... I could just put that like that and just tape up this end. So I'm going to root this. I'm going to try to put this over on this bolt right here. Plug it in right there. Probably need a longer bolt. Yeah, that's too short. So I'm going to have to get a longer bolt. I'm going to clean this up. What I could do is take this bracket, move it down. Move the bracket down to here. Well, let's see how it looks. Let's see how it works first. Just take that bracket off for now. So here's the knock sensor, we're gonna stick it right there. I had to get a longer bolt. Be very careful with these knock sensors, they are sensitive, you don't wanna drop them. And it's extremely important to torque them properly. So, get this bolt started. I'm gonna to torque this to 15 foot-pounds. That looks pretty good. Plug it in. Let's see how this is gonna go. Almost like it was made to be there. All right, that's cool. codes so that's pretty cool all right so so far it seems to be working let's so that seems to work overall do i think this is a good idea no this is a horrible idea you shouldn't hack up your cars definitely don't do this to a customer's car if you want to do it to your own car that has over 200k on it yeah it might be worth the risk either way i'm kind of excited that it worked um, over the week, I'm going to check and make sure I don't have any other knock sensor codes. Uh, if you like this video, check out some of my other videos. I do a lot of automotive and mechanical type stuff. Thanks. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Checking it a week later, still running great, and still no codes, no check engine lighter, nothing. So, good luck out there. <laughs>